Now we want to look at two more cells. So we'll keep it simple. We'll call it the goblet cell. And the ciliated cell. Just for simplicity's sake, that's what we'll call them. So when you breathe in, you breathe in lots of smoke, dust, bacteria, amongst other things. And to stop those going all the way deep into your lungs, you have two cells. And these are the ones that we need to learn. There's your basement membrane. That's what we're interested in. And on top of that, you've got two cells. And this continues on. So you've got your goblet cell with your nucleus. So let's mark these up. That there is your nucleus. Inside, as always, you'll have your cytoplasm. You've got your cell lining, your cell membrane, and this is our goblet cell. Our goblet cell. Now we've got another cell. It's like a long column, and you've got these hair like structures, the cilia. You've got your nucleus, so let's label that up. That's our nucleus. Inside, we've got our cytoplasm. We also have the cell membrane. And these hair-like structure here, are the cilia and this cell you'll see it being called the ciliated cell and sometimes they'll call it the columnar ciliated cell because it's a long thin structure like a column let me draw those again quickly you've got the goblet cell and you've got the ciliated cell right so let's draw this there's your cell membrane there's your nucleus and you have your cytoplasm in the middle and then you have your ciliated cell there's your nucleus, you've got thread-like structures, your cilia. Now what happens here is, as you breathe in, you get little bits of bacteria, dust, smoke particles, they come in. And this cell here, it produces a mucus. To trap these so these come along they try to get to the end of the lungs towards the alveoli but what happens is they get trapped in here which is a good thing and then the job of the cilia is to waft it back out to move it back out so these start moving backwards and forwards and all this mucus along with the bacteria moves up towards the throat so you can clear it out so it's important that these cilia are not damaged and they can get damaged by people smoking or working in a dusty workplace and we can discuss that in another video about the diseases caused by damage to the cilia. Okay, thank you for watching.